Assalamu alaikum. Welcome to this video tutorial on Windows Phone 8 for students of King Faisal University and for others who want to learn mobile app development. This is part 17 in the series entitled Leading Text Files for Windows Phone 8 App Development Using C Sharp. For this example, we will use Application Get Resource Stream, URI, and Stream Reader. For our app 17 underscore 1, we will create a text file containing names of 5 students in separate lines. We will place a list box and a button in the content panel. And when the button is clicked, we will display the contents of the text file in the list box. Let's create a new project. We'll call it app 17 underscore 1. First, let's create our text file. So add new item. And let's look for a text file there. We'll name it a file to read. Okay, so let's click it. Make sure that the build action is content. Now we can double click it and add some names like Aliyah, Amna, Ahmed, Ali, and Azam. Save it and we can close it now. Let's try to edit our sawmill. Let's make this up 17 when and our title to read text file. Okay, next, in our content panel, we need a list box. Okay. And we'll name our list box LBX1. There is our list box. Let's make it smaller. And below it, we'll add a button. Let's see our button there. Let's just put it down. Uh, maybe we can change the color of our list box. Let's go to brush, background. Change the color to red. Okay. Now our button. Let's name it to button win. And it's content to read file. Okay, so we're done. Just double click our button. Uh, so because we're going to need stream reader, we have to use also system.io. Now we can start. Uh, let's make an implicit variable str and uh, get our resource stream. We have to specify the file using URI. Okay, there. Uh, the name is file to read dot txt, and it's URI kind because uh, the file is already here. Of course, will be relative. Okay, now we need the stream reader. There. Let's make the variable as reader is equal to new stream reader and we'll get the stream from our variable str. Okay. So next is we're going to put uh, whatever we will be able to read in str onto our uh, list box. So that's list box one dot items there dot add so we'll get everything from our variable s reader and there's a nice uh, method here there read to end there read to end okay that's it now let's try to run our app okay so here's our app and if we click the button there we will see all the contents of our text file 
In our current example, we displayed uh, all the contents of the text file as a whole. Uh, in our continuation, we will read them uh, per line and we will number each line read when displayed in the list box. So that would be easy. All we have to do first is to create a variable which we will use as our counter and a looping statement. The loop statement condition will be while uh, the S reader, our S reader, is not yet uh, in the end of its stream. Okay. Okay, so first, maybe we have to increment our counter because we started with plus, with zero. Then we start the printing with our counter and maybe uh, a dot and a space and then our s reader but this time it's not going to be read to end but simply read there read line class now let's try it again so let's click read file there with numbers now so congratulations we just finished reading a text file for windows phone 8 app Thank you for taking the time to watch this video. Masalama.